Hey everyone, Kimberly here with another 10 minutes of it for high performance. Today, we're talking about a success indicator and there's an assessment that you can take to determine whether or not you will be successful at achieving a goal or a dream that you have and whether you will be successful at maintaining it. <laughs> and one of those assessments, one of those indicators is your belief. And you're going to say to me, Kim, of course, if I don't believe anything can happen, I'm never going to do it, right? Or I'm not going to be successful at it. But this is a special type of belief. This is your bandwidth belief. So what does that mean? This means you have, before you can even start a goal, you have an amount of time that you think it's going to take you to achieve that goal, meaning you have the amount of time in your head of how many hours per day or how many days per week or how many, you know, how many hours per month it is going to take you to achieve the thing. So it's a time bandwidth. And if you give your time and your focus to this thing, you have an idea that it's going to take you a certain amount of time to do it. So let's say you want to, um, learn to play an instrument. And let's say you want to go the route of hiring a coach to do that, hiring a, an instructor, right? A music teacher to do that. So you already know that they give one half hour lessons every week. So there's your half hour. And then let's say you're driving there. Back in the old day when we drove places and did things with people in person, right? So you drive there and it takes you 20 minutes for you to get there, 20 minutes to get back. And then you know there could be traffic. So then just round it up half an hour each. So right there is an hour and a half on a Tuesday night that you're going to have to go to take that guitar lesson, right? And then there's going to be other times during the week where you're going to have to practice what you learned. So if you figure out that you, it'll take you 20 minutes per day to practice, to learn how to play the guitar, and you have that time and you set aside that time in your mind and in your calendar to do that, and then you don't take into account the hour and a half that it's going to take you to get your lesson, it's going to become very onerous for you. It's going to feel very heavy. It's going to feel very time consuming and focus consuming for you. If, if you then have to add another hour and a half onto the concept that you had of half an hour per day to, um, to practice, right? So that's one part of it. The other part of it is how many hours per day or week or month is it going to take you to be good at it? Because let's face it, you could take a lesson for a guitar and you're going to give yourself maybe three months, maybe six months to get to a point that you have in your head that you're going to get to in that amount of time. Well, if you don't get there in the six month time period that you've given yourself, the amount of time and focus that you've allowed yourself, the bandwidth that you have assigned to that, if you're not good at it in that amount of time, you might get another teacher, you might put more time into it, you might quit, you might walk away. You know, there's a few things that you might do, but if you have the resolve to get better at it, clearly you're going to put more time and effort into it, which is going to take more of your bandwidth, right? Or you're going to say, you know what? I really am not getting the results I want. I don't believe I'm going to get, I don't believe I'm going to get the results that I want and the amount of bandwidth that I'm willing to give to that thing. So then you'll probably walk away from it, right? So that's my 10 minute or less tidbit for today. It's your bandwidth belief. It's your belief of how much time it's going to take you to do the thing, meaning daily, weekly, monthly, not when you're going to achieve it, how much time it's going to take you to do the things you need to do to get good enough at what you want to do to achieve it. And it also has to do with, are you getting good enough in the amount of time <laughs> that you've given yourself? If you're improving, if you're showing progress, if you're not, hmm, 
maybe this assessment right here is the one that's going to tell you pretty quickly what you how successful you're going to be and what you're going to do when you get to the point in your head and know that point too know the goal know the the kind of the the benchmark that you have for yourself for how good you're going to be at that amount of time what your belief is about that so also have that in mind too and and you may not you may go after something and you may not really be aware of like, hey, you know, I have an expectation that in such and such amount of time, I'm going to make that souffle, right? <laughs> you know, I'm willing to take the cooking class. I'm willing to try. I'm willing to, you know, buy the ingredients and maybe the souffle falls two or three or four times. But at the fifth time, if that souffle falls, I'm out. So kind of know, kind of look internally ask the question, you know, what is my bandwidth belief on this? Not just the amount of time I'm willing to put into it, but the amount of time I'm willing to put into it to get good at it. Alrighty. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has given you some insight. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you would like to contact me, I'd love to hear from you at Kimberly Trev's T-R-E-F-Z at gmail.com. And until next time, my friend, Go out and do the thing, whether you believe you can do it or not, and have fun. <laughs> Till next time.